This problem says to write as a sum and or difference of logs. So when we have this instruction of writing a sum or difference of logs, we're generally going to use the formulas of if we have log base b of x times y, that is equal to, it separates it into two logs, log base b first of x, well, when it's when it's multiplying, it doesn't really matter, but you have the sum of two logs. So the base is the same on both the logs, and it's the sum of the log of the first factor plus the log of the second factor. The other formula that we're going to often use is if we have log base b of x, this time divided by y, whenever we have two things that are divided inside of a log, it separates it into two logs as well, but instead of being added, it's subtracted. So it's log, it's still base b, and we put the numerator first, log base b of x, minus log base b of y. So these are going to be the general formulas that we're going to start with. And our first step I would suggest whenever you have a fraction to start with the second formula. Start with the with the division formula first. So let's rewrite this as log base 9. Oops. Log base 9 of the numerator. I'll put it in parentheses since it's more than one thing. 9 root x and then minus log base 9 of the denominator, which is y. Okay, so that's my first step. I didn't put this one in parentheses or brackets um, because it's only one term. So we don't really need parentheses or brackets if we do it um, with just, if we have what's inside the log is just one term, but usually if there's more than one term, you do use parentheses or brackets. The next step that I'll take is using if we have, since we still have two things that are multiplied in this log, I'll use this formula next to separate this into separate logs. So this will be log base 9 of the first thing, which is 9. And then because they're multiplied, it's plus log base 9 of the second thing, which is square root of x. And then I'll bring down the minus log base 9 of y. Okay, so that's my second step. From here, I can use a formula that if you have log base b of b, so if your base is the same thing as the number inside the log, that is equal to 1. So using that formula, I can write log base 9 of 9 just as 1. So 1 plus log base 9 of square root x minus log base 9 of y. And one more thing, um, usually whenever you write things as the sum or difference, we could leave it here, but oftentimes um, your teacher will expect you to take any exponents and using the following formula, log base b of x to the power of n, we can kick that n down to the front and we can write it as n log base b of x. So I, we're also going to use the formula that the square root, if we have the n root of x to the power of m, that is equal to x to the power of m over n. So I know this is a lot of formulas, but one more formula we have um, when it's a square root, the n is going to be 2. And when there's no exponent, it's an understood 1. So let's write, let me give myself a little more room. Let's write 1 plus log base 9. First, we'll write the x with a power of the m, which is 1, divided by the n, which is 2. So a square root is the same thing as x to the power of 1 half. Then bring down the log base 9 of y. 
And now we'll use this formula of taking the exponent and kicking it down to the front. So we'll write it as 1 plus 1 half of log base 9 of x. And now since the 1 half is kicked to the front, we don't need to write it anymore. Minus log base 9 of y. And that would be our final answer. This would be fully expanded. So if your teacher is just expecting you to write it just as a sum or difference of logs, you could potentially stop here, depending on um, how much your teacher has taught you and which formulas you know so far. Okay, so I hope this question was helpful for you. If it was, please smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel to see more homework help videos. If you'd like to get notified anytime I make a video, then click the notification bell and choose all um, so that you can see whenever I make my new videos. Thanks for watching.